high blood pressure, treat it and live. Take your last look at good old Fresca. Because now there's a new Fresca with a fresh new taste. A fresh new taste that comes from a delicious blend of citrus flavors. New Fresca is still sugar-free, still low-calorie, with a unique new taste you'll enjoy again and again. Take your first look at new sparkling clear Fresca. Now, try the fresh new taste. Hey, Coach, I've got business in Denver. All right, Fly Frontier Airlines. Never heard of them. Well, they're new. Good food? Excellent. Leg room? Even for me. Non-stops? Three a day from hobby. Coach, they're new. How do you know they're good? <laughs> Kenny, you're new. Are you any good? Hey, I'm the best. So I guess the best way to Denver is Frontier Airlines. The best way to Denver, Kenny, is lose a ball game. <laughs> the men's warehouse has casual clothes at casual prices, and that gives me a good feeling all over. The men's warehouse, 10 locations around Houston for a good feeling all over. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Boudreaux and coming up next right here live at 5, a celebration of Armed Services Week from Ellington Air Force Base where the Navy's Blue Angels are going to be putting on a big show tomorrow afternoon. We're going to introduce you to that Naval Flight Squadron famous for its fancy flying. Also on today's program, we're going to introduce you to a fancy new ride out at Astro World and Van Hackett is standing by to do just that. Bob, I'm here at Astro World where they're unveiling their first major ride for the whole family in several years and we'll take you along today on Live at 5. Looks exciting, Van, thank you. Also today, we're going to have part four of our series on summer hair care. Barbara Estep doing the honors. And as addition to that, we're going to introduce you to an idea in stationery that's fairly new, paper by the pound. Our science report is going to tell us all about snowflakes, kind of rare here in the Houston area. Bob Allen has got our sports report. Ed Brandon is going to talk about the weekend weather forecast, and it is all coming up next, right here, live at five. This is 13 Houston. Thank you for joining us, everyone, on a miserable Friday afternoon. We're inside a hangar here. It's the hangar that belongs to the 147th Fighter Squadron of the Texas Air National Guard. For this night, it's going to be housing the A-4 Skyhawk airplanes that belong to the Navy's Blue Angels, and we'll be talking about the show that they're going to be putting on out here as part of Armed Services Week starting tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. We'll see a little bit of their flying, courtesy of a demonstration that they tried to put on a little bit earlier, got rained out, but we've got some tape of some previous performances that I'm sure you'll find exciting. Before we talk all about that flying, let's go back to Dave Ward, who's had the honor of flying at one time with the Blue Angels. David, what's going on in the news, sir? Okay, Bob, in the news today, Governor Bill Clemens says the decision by the Justice Department to apply pressure to 22 school districts around the Houston area will be politically dangerous for President Carter. The governor said the decision to follow up with court action to desegregate all area schools will affect Carter politically because the attorney general is the president's subordinate. Clement says Houston residents will climb the wall over the Justice Department decision. Twelve construction workers having a little trouble collecting a month's wages from a subcontractor hired to work on a major city of Houston project. The men were all paid on time, but the paychecks bounced, incurring even more expenses for the workers who say they live from paycheck to paycheck, just like the rest of us. The men say West Gulf Constructors Company owes them the money, but they've been told the company doesn't have the money to pay them. Another company, Natkin Construction, says it paid West Gulf, but is willing to pay the men again since they feel responsible. Ivanis News reporter Elma Barrero will have the full story this evening at 6. Secretary of State Edmund Muskie today sharply criticized the Soviets, saying Moscow is threatening world peace through its invasion of Afghanistan. Muskie's in Vienna, engaging in talks with Soviet Foreign Minister Andrei Gromyko. His remarks about the Soviets were made at a public ceremony in Vienna just before he had a three-hour meeting with Gromyko. The talks marked the first high-level Soviet-American contact since the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. 
The head of the International Olympic Committee called at the White House today to talk with President Carter about the proposed boycott of the Moscow Olympics. Lord Kalanin spent half an hour with the president, reportedly asked Mr. Carter if there is any chance of his changing his mind about the boycott of the Olympic Games, but the president reaffirmed his opposition to the U.S. participating in the Moscow Olympics, again because of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Israeli troops crossed the border over into Lebanon today on a raid of Palestinian guerrilla targets. This is the third time this month that Israel has launched such a mission. Meanwhile, Israeli gunboats pounded Palestinian positions along the southern Lebanese coast. Reports in Beirut say at least 11 people killed, 16 others wounded. Israel says all of its troops returned to base safely. The government today reports that U.S. industrial production is down last month and the automobile and construction sectors were the most heavily affected. Factory output recorded its largest drop in the past five years. Former economic advisor to President Ford says the new statistics indicate the steepness of the recession will be far greater than anyone has been projecting. And a final item this evening, junior girl scouts from Troop 1781 working on merit badges currently that require learning about other cultures and how people live in other lands. Recently, the girls toured Houston's UNICEF facility, a facility that has raised more than $200,000 for poor children around the world. United Nations um, International, <laughs> International Children's Educational, Educational Fund. Fund. Right. That's what UNICEF means. Volunteer Mary Ann Stevens conducted the tour, and the girls were especially interested in how people in other lands make music. I have a flute, flute and mouthpiece. From where? Um, it's from Cameroon. Okay, let's hear it. There's a yellow ribbon on the door of the UNICEF library here. There's one at Mary Ann's house, too. Her brother, William Royer, is one of the American hostages in Iran. Iran doesn't participate in UNICEF, but over a hundred other countries do. This is a little box. Inside the box, there are six little teeny tiny dolls. And every night when you go to bed, you can have six troubles. And you can tell each one of the little dolls your troubles. And then you put them away in the box. And when you wake up in the morning, your troubles are gone. The dolls will take care of them while you sleep. International understanding. That's what UNICEF is all about. And no doubt Mary Ann Stevens could use a box full of those little dolls. Barbara Estep, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Barbara. Now let's go back out to Bob Boudreau and watch the Blue Angels. Thank you very much, David. As you can see, the free flights have been completed. The Blue Angels are starting their demonstration flight. In this flight, in the A-4s, there are five Navy pilots, one Marine pilot. The salute from the ground crew as the plane rolls by. That is Commander Denny Wisely leading the parade of the Blue Angels, and it is quite a show. As luck would have it, the weather did not cooperate and the flight demonstration for the Blue Angels had to be canceled this afternoon. As we look at tape of a previous performance, we'll talk to Lieutenant Randy Clark of the United States Navy and this operation has been in existence for 34 years. Is it primarily a public relations aspect or is it, what is it that the Navy is trying to do with, with the Blue Angels? Well, the primary thrust of the team is recruiting, of course, but we like to bring the, the maneuvers that the average training command pilot or every naval aviator, every fledgling naval aviator is trained to do the maneuvers that you see in the air show. Of course, the degree of precision demonstrated by the team is not sought after in the training command. However, all our maneuvers are refinements of those basic techniques. Also, I believe that uh, we can instill a little national pride by doing this, and that's really evident in the past months. I think there's an upsurge in the in the country now along those lines and I think we're contributing to that. There are certain maneuvers for which the Blue Angels are famous, the diamond uh, being one. Uh, explain, if you would, how all that operates. How does that work? Well, there, there's actually two basic formations that they use. The diamond formation, Blue Angels two and three are, be, are positioned on the wingtips of Commander Wisely and Blue Angel number one, with Blue Angel number four in the slot position, just a few feet down and after the leader's exhaust. In echelon formation, the wingmen are stacked aft and down on a 45-degree bearing line from the leader. In, in uh, echelon, you'll see a variety of rolling maneuvers. 
while a diamond you'll see uh, looping in high, uh, rolling in high vertical looping maneuvers performed. In each of those formations, 36 inches of wingtip to canopy separation are maintained. Not much leeway for error there, is there? Not much, but there's more than you might expect. All our maneuvers have uh, safety factors, considerable safety factors built into them. Everybody's got a place to go. How many G-forces are we pulling in a, in a loop and a roll and that sort of thing, especially at, uh, as you're cruising down the runway at uh, a couple hundred miles an hour? Well, on all the maneuvers, you probably see, you'll see anywhere from two negative Gs up to six positive Gs. Does that cause any problem for the pilots in that kind of formation, that close formation, or is it basically a thing of training to be able to handle it? Well, it's training. It's a lot of training to handle it. But as you can imagine, if you weigh 200 pounds and you're pulling six Gs, you weigh 1,200 pounds now. So your arms get real heavy. But it's something you learn to cope with over the years. And, and after a while, you become very G-tolerant. And that's, of course, all our pilots are. It's an exciting show. What time tomorrow? The whole festivities start at 8.30 in the morning, but we've, we're the last uh, event of the day, and we go on at 2 o'clock. Wish you very well. Thank you, Lieutenant Clark, and we'll be back with more on Live at 5 from Ellington Air Force Base in just a minute. Save up to 50% on first quality Herculon living room suites at Ramadi Inns, I-45 in Cross Tumbers, I-10 at Antoine Exit, and Hobby Airport on Airport Boulevard. Tuxedo-style sofa loveseat and chair only $198, all brand new. Three-piece early American only $268, or five-piece mod pit group and durable Herculon only $268. Woven oriental design rugs from $19.99. Hotel and motel mattress distributors sale tomorrow at Ramadi Inns, I-45 in Cross Tumbers, I-10 at Antoine Exit, and Hobby Airport on Airport Boulevard. See our ad in your newspaper. Baby me, baby. Baby me, baby. Mr. To Baby Your Baby, your skin's gotta be smooth. Rise Baby Face Shave Cream, the only lather with our exclusive baby oil formula. Rise Baby Face babies your face, so it doesn't just shave you close. It leaves your skin feeling smooth up close. Baby me, baby. Rise Baby Face with baby oil, shave so close your face feels smooth up close. Baby me, baby. To the Jack in the Box clown. He's going bye bye, lady. But he's so cute. Cute was the old Jack in the Box restaurants. Now we stand for great new food. Like our new Chicken Supreme, juicy all white meat chicken, two kinds of cheese on a toasted whole wheat bun. The food is better at the box. The food is better at the box. Waste him. The food is better at the box. Jack in the Box, better at the box. You know. Without changing its character as a fine six-passenger automobile, Buick did some very logical things to their LeSabre. Compared with last year's, it's not only lighter, but these tires are designed to roll freer. It's more efficient aerodynamically. Under the hood, an economical V6 engine. I really am impressed with the logic, but frankly, I'm nuts about the looks. Take the V6 surprise drive at your Buick dealers now. This did, now we're standing up on uh, ship number five here belongs to Lieutenant Jim Ross, one of the solo ships. This is uh, Tim Tunstall, one of the mechanics. We'll talk to him about uh, some of the procedures on these marvelous A4 airplanes. I'm just, as an old pilot here, fascinated by the uh, equipment that these fellows have in these well-maintained airplanes, as you can might well imagine. Well, it's going to be that time of year when a lot of us are thinking about ways to stay cool in the summertime, and the folks over at Astro World have come up with a real doozy of a way. In fact, it's the world's first man-made white water river, is what I'm trying to say, and Van Hackett's going to tell us about it, Van. When you get in, you get ready for a quarter mile, two and a half million gallon opportunity to get soaked and have some good old-fashioned family fun along the way. If it doesn't scare the life out of you or jar you to death the way the Grease Lightning or Texas Cyclone does, well, that's because it was designed that way. Uh, yes, in the past we've stuck with our thrill rides, the Texas Cyclone roller coaster and our loop coaster Grease Lightning. What we've done this year is try to develop a new family ride, a total family adventure where all the family can ride. Thrilling and fun, but G-rated instead of, oh my gosh. Bill Crandall first got the idea watching the kayak races during the 72 Munich Olympics. Seven years of planning and designing and six months of construction later, all at a cost of about $3 million, and it opens to the public tomorrow. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> yep. 
Wow, does that look like a lot of fun? I believe that it is. I'll bet it's a lot of fun to ride in one of these as well. This is Tim Tunstall. You saw him up on the airplane number five a moment ago as they closed the hangar doors on us here. Tim, how much maintenance are we talking about on an airplane like this? I was talking about quite a few maintenance. You know, as much flying as they do, you know, it's, sometimes the jet comes back and it'd be down for, you know, certain problems, and we have to take quite a bit of work, you know, to get it back up. But we never had to counsel the air show due to maintenance problems, though. So. There's a lot of pride in this unit, as evidenced by the, if you want to turn around and show the folks uh, at home, uh, the patch, the Blue Angel patch that they've got on the uniform and on the, on the back side of, of your uniform, it says U.S. Navy Blue Angels. A lot of esprit de corps. Uh, you have to paint the airplane quite a bit? I would paint the aircraft once a year in El Central California, but during the year, just a lot of waxing involved, really. How many maintenance hours versus flying hours? Do you have a, an approximate ratio? But chiffon tastes good enough to fool Mother Nature. Tastes so sweet and creamy, so much like butter. All you'll ever want is more chiffon. You'll see. Tastes like butter. Mm, so many margarines. But chiffon's good enough to fool Mother Nature. If it tastes like butter, but it's not, it's chiffon. Only one person in 200 who applies gets to be a Continental Airlines flight attendant. After we train them to deal with demanding people... Paper, a pillow, coffee... Coffee right here. Schedule. Yes, sir. ...to handle families... ...to answer your questions... ...they're ready to handle the important jobs. You. Start with a true three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine with easy pull and go start. Add a 20 inch vacuum action steel deck. Instant action height adjusters. Handle throttle control. Easy to maneuver rear bagging. And you have Montgomery Ward's rear discharge lawnmower. Now just $199.88. Or get all this plus self propelled action for just $239.88. At your lawnmower headquarters, Montgomery Ward. Rolling in from the west out here, it's six flights made out of wood, a roller coasting dream. Ain't awful big, but it's awful mean, they call that sign. Judge Royce Green. It's the all west of the Pecos. Oh, that's awful. You're darn right it is. Made out of wood, it's awful mean, they call that sign. Judge Royce Green. And we're back live at Ellington Air Force Base. Apparently we had a little maintenance or technical problem on our microphone there. We apologize for that. Hopefully the sound problem has been corrected. And we'll move right along now to tell you about that story that we indicated we'd run for you earlier, and that is paper by the pound. The weather continues like it has been for the past couple of days. This is probably going to be a very good weekend to just stay indoors and write a lot of letters. And if you do a lot of corresponding, you already know just how much it costs to mail those letters out. 
Well, to help cut the cost of corresponding, here's a packaging idea that might help you out. In fact, there's no package to it at all. Buying jelly beans and candy-coated raisins by the pound for years. Now they can nibble on that candy while writing letters on the paper they buy by the pound. You can get pink paper by the pound, blue, peach, every color of the rainbow, all shapes and sizes. And it's four dollars a pound and two fifty for half a pound. And you can mix and match your colors and sizes. Okay. So How much paper are we talking about then? Well, it depends on the size. Like this is the smallest size in the cards, and you get about a hundred and ten uh, per pound. And as you get larger, the paper gets thinner because this is good for mailing by itself without an envelope. And you might get only ninety-five sheets for a pound. If you bought it off the shelf packaged, you pay about two fifty to three dollars more. No, you can't buy just one or two sheets. A half pound is the smallest amount. Middleman says buying paper this way is a fad. People like the personal touch. Maybe you are what you write on. Can you kind of tell when people walk in here what kind of paper they're going to buy, what color? Well, I thought I could. And then at Christmas time, I had a lady come in, very conservative elderly lady, who picked up hot pink, mango, and some other colors. Now that you've figured out how many pounds you want, you can seal it all together with one of these stickers you buy by the yard. Everything you need to write a ton of letters. Maureen Zimmerman, Eyewitness News. Thank you very much, Maureen. I should indicate to the, to the people at home right now, we are not going to have part four of summer hair care, but what the heck, with a day like today, it's raining. Who's thinking about going out swimming anyway? We'll have part four on Monday from Barbara Estep, and uh, we'll also continue buyer beware next week. Robert Allen, you must get a million letters. Uh, you generate a lot of stationery through your office, and uh, ton of it. why don't you... Uh, Go ahead and tell the folks at home all about how the Astros are going to win a big game tonight. They certainly are. I was thinking about going out swimming myself, but I haven't looked outside recently. The Astros open up a series tonight, uh, which some are saying could be the final homestand of the season against the Philadelphia Phillies, but things could be brightening up as far as the labor negotiations go. The owners have, uh, the players have submitted a new proposal we'll tell you more about at 6 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow, the Preakness, the second leg of the Triple Crown. You'll see it here on Channel 13, and here's a little preview of what you'll see. The number is one. One is night landing, the rider William J. Passmore. That began the draw for the post positions for Saturday's Preakness. TV star Lauren Green picking the numbers. Racing Secretary Larry Bundy conducting the draw. Helping out, Miss Preakness Sharon Harrison. And watching with great interest, Jack Klugman. The number is seven. Seven is Jacqueline Klugman. The writer is Daryl McCarg. Lucky number. So the field looks like this. Number one, Knight Landing, Samoyed two. Out of the three, whole Codex. Next to him, Colonel Moran, Genuine Risk, Bing, the six horse, then Jacqueline Klugman, and Lucky Pluck. After the draw, we caught some reaction. Doesn't bother me, no. Uh, no, she's a good filly in the gate, and uh, with only eight horses in the race, I don't think post position means a whole lot. Jack, what were your thoughts on getting the seventh post position? Gee, I wish I'd gotten inside. I, I shouldn't have been there. Though. I think I jinxed it, you know. But as I said, we got 360s of a mile to get into position, and it's a small field, so there won't be that much trouble. And, but we've, we've won from every position. We won from the 1 and the 12 and won five and a half furlongs. So, of course, I'd rather have inside, but with all this early speed, I don't want to cost us anything to get up there. Tomorrow, about an eighth of a mile from where we stand now, eight horses will break from the gate for the running of the 105th Preakness Stakes. And with a fairly even matched field, this could turn out to be a heck of a race. Randy Blair for ABC News at Pimlico in Baltimore. Thank you, Randy. Also tomorrow here on Channel 13, the final weekend of qualifying for the Indianapolis 500. We'll talk to Jackie Stewart at 6 more about that. Uh, back to you, Robert. Thank you, Bob. Good to see Randy Blair, an old friend of mine from Richmond, Virginia. Hey, we'll be back with more on Live at 5 in just a minute. forest where dappled sunlight reflects on chilling waters of the Rhine there is a black tower black tower the brilliantly distinct white wine light soft with a golden burst of flavor from a happy mingling of grape and earth and sun black tower the imported white wine 
in the towering black bottle. Because the taste so impressive, the bottle had to be two. Black Tower, the white wine in the black bottle. Listen to why travelers in the southeast are going Greyhound. I tell you, I wouldn't have been able to travel all that I did if I didn't have Greyhound because I couldn't afford a car, you know. Well, I think the main reason I'm at Greyhound is that it's convenient. Uh, it's close to where I'm living, and uh, I've often taken Greyhound in the past. It's much quicker to take Greyhound, and you'll get there much faster, and you can leave the driving to them. I take Greyhound. I just love it. Go Greyhound to New Orleans. Nine trips daily. Don't miss the first annual Handy Dan Home Improvement and Garden Expo, May 16th through 18th, at the downtown Albert Thomas Convention Center. Funny man Norm Crosby will be there Friday to greet his fans, and Gifford Nielsen, Houston Oilers star, will sign autographs 4 p.m. Saturday, win a free autograph football. See over 100 demonstrations and do-it-yourself ideas at the Home Improvement and Garden Expo, May 16th through 18th, Albert Thomas Convention Center. We've got more what you're looking for at Handy Dan. Hard as it tries, this car just isn't getting the mileage it used to. It had a tune-up recently, so most likely the problem's a dirty carburetor. To remove and prevent those gas-wasting deposits, it needs Gum Out Carburetor Cleaner from Pennzoil. Cleans carburetors inside and out, gum out in the gas tank, and jet spray on the carburetor linkage helps your car get all the mileage it can. Gum Out Carburetor Cleaner from Pennzoil. It saves gas. As evidenced by the miserable stuff we see all around us today, cloudy and rainy weather is certainly no stranger to Houston, but snow certainly is. Did you know that snow is still pretty much a mystery to scientists? Well, it is. And in our science report today, we're going to hear how scientists are trying to find out what makes it snow by growing their own snowflakes. Here's Don Herbert. These are the kinds of snowflakes children have been making for generations. You fold a piece of paper six times, cut it out like that, and when you open it up, you have the classical snowflake shape. When scientists want to make snowflakes, they grow them in the laboratory. Here's a snow crystal growing along a fiber under the microscope. Now these are single snow crystals, while a snowflake may consist of 50 or more of them locked together. The size and shape of a snow crystal depends on the temperature and how much moisture is in the air. Many form a six-sided figure because the electrical properties of the water molecules line them up that way as they change from a liquid state to a solid. Scientists also study natural snow crystals that have fallen from the sky. At the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado, they collect freshly fallen snow and immerse the crystals in a sub-freezing bath of kerosene. This preserves them for study under the microscope. Individual snow crystals have a delicate beauty. While no two are exactly alike, scientists have classified them into 10 major groups. It's easy to forget that when these fragile structures fall by the countless millions, they can cripple our modern civilization. And this is one of the important reasons why scientists are trying to learn more about snowflakes. This is Don Herbert. See what you learn by watching Live at Five, Ed Brennan. You learn all about snowflakes and growing snowflakes in scientific environments. That's about the only thing we haven't had is snow around here in the last couple of days. We have had a lot of other kinds of precipitation, Bob, and I'm going to talk about it. First, that flash flood watch is still in effect for southeast Texas, east of the line from Palacios to College Station. Uh, that's been extended through tomorrow morning. The reason, of course, is that any additional rain that falls on the saturated ground cannot soak into the ground. It will have to run off. Therefore, any additional rain will cause flash flooding. A satellite picture taken a little less than an hour ago indicates that the extreme eastern portion of Texas and most of the coast is still experiencing rain. Uh, most of that is not extremely heavy rain. However, there are heavy thunderstorms over in the extreme southeastern corner of the state. Eyewitness radar right now is scanning on the close range, and we're picking up continued heavy thunderstorm activity along the Sabine River and over in southwest Louisiana. I want to show you a few satellite pictures starting at 10.30 last night and going through 10.30 this morning to show you just what a bad day it has been in southern Louisiana. Ken, you can just go ahead and roll through those pictures while I tell the folks that approximately 15.32 inches of rain have been recorded at the National Weather Service in Lake Charles, Louisiana since last night. Flash flood warnings are in effect for southwestern parishes in Louisiana, uh, Calcasieu, Cameron, Acadia, Vermilion, and Lafayette. We're getting some really bad reports of heavy rains from throughout southern Louisiana. Uh, Dave Ward will tell you about that on the news at 6 o'clock, and I'll have a lot more weather, too. Back to you, Bob. Thank you very much, Ed, and uh, the Blue Angels certainly need some clear skies to please the crowd out here at Ellington Air Force Base tomorrow. Weather permitting, shows at 2 o'clock. We'll have some final words on Live at 5 in just a minute. Your saving place makes saving nice with quality at a Kmart price. Misty is
and Kmart have teamed up to cut prices on your favorite thirst quencher. Delicious instant nest tea. In the 32 ounce canister with sugar and lemon, or the three ounce jar of 100% tea. Use the rebate coupon available at your local Kmart store, and your cost is just 86 cents each through Saturday. Kmart is the saving place. I got this last minute call to work the 7 a.m. flight, and wouldn't you know it, everything went wrong. I was even out of my antiperspirant. But am I worried? Uh-uh. Because I use Mitchum Roll-On. Mitchum is so effective, I could even skip a day. I mean, you may never have to, but it's nice to know Mitchum's so effective. Roll-On stick or cream. Mitchum is so effective, you can even skip a day. Blistering and peeling from the sun is a problem they won't have with this house. I'm Bum Phillips. This house was redone with siding, overhang and trim too. Alcoa aluminum and the mastic T-lock vinyl siding are tough. And when applied with the Dow Styrofoam insulation, you qualify for the energy tax credit. Watch for this information about siding. Get a cooler like this free when you let a remodeler show you how to keep your home appealing with quality materials from Texas Building Products. Sounds like a jet is landing right on top of us here.